Let's stand back. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, we can. Aha. Hello, guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Astroneer with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. Oh, more resin. Excellent. We are going to head back down to our main planet because... <laughs> can I disconnect this? Oh, what? Why can't I disconnect this? Um, okay, well, we need to head down to our main planet because there's some resources that I need. But it seems like I can't disconnect this. Don't tell me I'm now stuck here. No, I can take off. But this isn't letting me disconnect. So if I fly away, <laughs> is that going to cause some weird buggy problem? Yeah, it's not letting me disconnect, is it? It's like permanently connected here. I thought that would have been a bug that somebody would have noticed by now. Okay, so basically at the moment, we're we're running short on power. Um, to be able to dig out the whole of this moon, we're going to need a lot of power. As you can see, the sun doesn't last very long here. I need like a ring of these. Um, I also need to make sure I can come back here and find my landing place. Um, I don't think I can yet make. Battery generator, one seat, solar panel storage. No, I can't make the habitat yet. Oh, there's our planet. So what I'm thinking I might do is actually run around, collect a load of storage. There's so much here. And try and get the habitat research uh, before we go. So we can set up a habitat here. Um, yeah, and then we can find our way back again. Otherwise, we could be really, really stuck. Um, there's not that many landing places on the moon. So we'd probably... Can I reach this? If you get your, get your tool out like that, you can reach a bit further. So I probably... It would only take me a couple of goes. Oh, <laughs> I put the tool away by mistake. It would only take me a couple of goes to get back here, but... I think that's probably a good idea. I'm not sure whether it shows you beacons from when you're flying around to land. Whether it only shows you habitats. I think it does. It shows you vehicles, doesn't it? So it probably does. But anyway... I'm going to work through a load of these, see if I can get habitat anyway. Um, I do need some more lithium for a battery, and that's one thing. And I'm wondering whether I just need to go down a bit deeper to get some more of these, because at the moment, I'm just getting the same things over and over again. So, yes, leave that with me. I will be working on that. And then I'll be back with you. We're going to work on a great big power power making and storage array. That's the idea. I would still like to get enough stuff. To make a truck as well so we can get around here a bit quicker a decent sized truck with a drill i think would be really helpful on this planet so yep can i block that up <laughs> not really so yeah i'm gonna collect all these take them all back i'll be back with you ah finally got another lithium just what we need there we go let's pop those on there we can finally make a battery which will make doing all this a lot easier because we can start saving some of that lovely sunny power from during the day because the days are so short here on the moon. Oh, yes, they are. Excellent. And we got enough for another one. Excellent. Oh, I love collecting. <laughs> I love collecting these resource things and getting our resources this way. It's fantastic. Right, I think this is probably going to be our final one. There we go. And we can build off of here. I'm going to start building these out, have solar panels that side. And batteries this side. I'll probably just keep filling up on batteries until one solar panel doesn't fill them all up in a day. Probably something like that. We want to get as much power out of the day as we can. And then I'll just keep adding more after that. So we get loads more power. How much resin have we got? We've got enough for another one. Let's pop out. Oh, actually, we'll wait until we get enough uh, to build another battery. So... Uh, yeah, I'm going to see. Let's see. I'm going to leave all of this here somewhere so we don't take it all back with us. We don't need it. Got some spaces. I'll <laughs> stick it on the front of there. And I'm going to keep that one with me. Let's jump. What have we got in here? Hydrazine wise. We're full up. Yep, still can't connect this. Let's. Oh, I still haven't put a beacon down. Um, Still, I'm not getting any more research at the minute, so I can't make a habitat. Let's put down a beacon. I think that may be the way to go. Let's pop one of those down because otherwise there'll be no way of finding our way back here. There we go. If we just pop that. Yeah, we pop it there. That should do. I've never done it like this before, so let's see. Let's take off. Oh, it automatically disconnects. Hooray for automation. There we go. 
And we're off. Yeah, we can see the beacon in space. What were you guys worrying about? What were you worrying about? We're going to be fine. Oh, man. That is going to be... And there's only like two landing spots anyway. That is going to be a big place to dig out, isn't it? Look. Good grief. Okay, let's go back to Terran. Everything's firing all at once. Hopefully we can find... Our way... Whoa, through the planet. Hopefully we can find our way back easy enough. And then I'm going to collect some more resources. So, yeah. See you when I'm ready. Well, I seem to be having an interesting issue. We're back. We're, we're here. But if I jump out, I'm getting stuck in this thing. And no matter which way I go, left or right, up or down, I can't seem to get in or out. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's interesting. I can't dig. Because this is all like that hard stuff. But it's like got me right on the right on the thing. I oh, man. I can't connect that up. I can't jump out any other way. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, we're out. Oh, we did it. Yes. Oh, I'm free. I'm free. Yay. Right, okay. <laughs> Time to collect some stuff. Oh, got another research coming in. For our green hairy ball that we collected. Spaceship. Now that would be handy to be taking stuff backwards and forwards. But I think at the moment we'll stick with our little jumper. We're doing okay. We're doing okay with that one. Okay, ready to head back. I'm bringing some more lithium with me. Some resin, some coal. Oh, we've got some space there. Let's bring, let's bring some copper because we want to make a vehicle. There we go. Not too much space, but I've filled it with what I can. Aluminium. I don't think I've got any more aluminium. What's that one there? Oh, aluminium. Let's take that instead of the tethers. Whoops. We'll just oh, we can put this on the side, can't we? So aluminium can be used to make dynamite, which will be fantastic for helping to clear out. So, I mean, if we can make a load of dynamite. I've got space for one more. Let's take another, let's take another copper. Or should we take a battery? Let's take a battery. Uh, copper. <laughs> Let's take a titanium. Because uh, we can make... Oh, we can make air tanks out of those. Oh, maybe not so much bothered about that. Let's take this instead. There we go. Yeah, so lots of TNT will be fantastic. Let's jump in. Let's take off. They're helping to blow up the planet. So, I know there will be a lot of aluminium on the planet. On the barren moon. So we can collect a load and maybe do a few huge TNT explosions at some point. That place is looking interesting. Here we go. Let's head over to here. It's like it's almost... Oh, it's like the inside has come out. Oh, it's the end of the universe. Oh, my goodness. Watch out. Don't fly... Okay, we'll fly through. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there's our beacon. As soon as it lets us land, we shall land right there. Boing! Excellent. So what I'm thinking of doing as well is we've got some coal. And I believe you can get... Look at all that research and all of those peaks. It's everywhere. We can build one of those power machines that uses coal as well. And we'll be, we'll be flying for power. So what I want to do... Yay, we're not getting trapped. What I want to do is... Is that going to connect again? No, it's not. Okay, well, that's fine. Not too worried about that. Is I want to make sure... There we go. That we've got a vehicle for getting around here. And that vehicle could be... Something with a, a crane, because you guys, are, or drill head, you guys are telling me that using the drill head is a lot quicker. And I'm pretty sure we can make that. So, let's get that set up. Let's flatten this out to here. What do I find right here by the base? What do we need? Lots of aluminium, and there's a nice big vein of laterite down here. So that's one of the things as well we're going to get as we're digging out this moon, is we are going to get... An absolute ton of resources. How much more space have we got? Oh, we've got tons of space. We're going to get a ton of resources. So we're going to need a big place to store all of our resources as well. So we're going to end up with a with a base flying. <laughs> a flying base not attached to anything. Which is going to be fantastic. A proper space base that's circling around our planet. Our home planet of Terran. I'm really looking forward to it when this is finished. There we go. Back. It's going to take a while. It is going to take a while, but I'm really looking forward to all the things that we're going to have to do to make it happen. Here we go. Let's get our vehicle bay done and see if we can get a truck going with a drill head on. That's going to fill up with power. 
Okay, here we go. Truck. Let's pop these on. Can't see my cursor. Where's it gone? There it is. Let's build the big truck. Now, we don't have a seat. Can I print a seat? Let's have a look. We can print a seat. What do we need for that compound? I'm a bit short on compound, I think. Darn it. What have I got in my back? I've got one compound here. Let's pop that in there. Okay, let's see what options this is going to give us. So, we could print a seat on there, but I don't want to do that. don't want to do that. A crane. That is what we want on there. That's going to take four copper. What other options do we get? Storage. Okay. Let's put the crane on. So, we're going to need four copper. Do I have one, two, three, four copper? Fantastic. Let's pop these on. Whoa. Trying to get used to the gravity on here is very interesting. There we go. Let's have a quick look for another compound. This is all aluminium. That's resin, titanium. Oh, uh, no. That one's being used. Okay. There we go. We need to print a drill head as well. I'm assuming that's going to be compound. Oh, we can put two cranes on. That'd be interesting. There's only one of me, though. <laughs> drill head needs copper. Okay. So we're going to need some more... What have we got here? This is all aluminium now, isn't it? We're going to need some more copper. And we're going to need some more compound. So I may have to head back to my base to get some more of that stuff. I'll have a look around here, see what I can find. Right, I would like to head down there. We've got this massive big hole in the ground that we've been sort of skirting around the last uh, couple of episodes. I want to head down here and see what we can see. I'm hoping... I'm not just going to slide to my death, because that really wouldn't be good. But if we get a few of these going down here... Oh, actually, it's not too bad. There is a bit of a drop. Let's have a look. Let's walk around there. Oh, it gets a bit darker. It's nice and easy to see where to put your things. Go on in, slide. And let's see what we can see in here. I bet there's a load of resources hidden in some of these caves. Oh, these lovely things. We all love these, don't we? Darn it. Okay, <laughs> let's have a look around the other side. I bet this is full of them as well. It is. Oh, and there's some compound over there. Exactly what we need. I'll get some of that. Okay, so it seems to be that there is a lot... <laughs> you slide in again. Seems to be that there is... Whoa! A lot of coal uh, hidden down here in the depths as well, which would be fantastic. So I definitely want to get set up uh, one of the machines that gives us power from coal. I just can't think what the name of it is. You know the one I mean. Um, so that can help us as well. So we are we are going to be absolutely full up with power, which is fantastic. Right, let's get this drill head and get this seat. Oh, we needed copper, didn't we? Of course. Well, let's get the seat anyway. There we go. We can do that one. And then I may have to go on a little copper hunt. There we go. Not very far away. On the surface, some malachite. Excellent. Just what we need. Let's grab this. I've been surviving, really, by just running around and making filters, because the filters seem to last for so long. There we go. That I've got absolutely tons of air. I'm not worried at all, so... Really pleased. Right, let's grab this. There we go. We can get that going. Now, something I want to test. Let's grab uh, one of these aluminium, and let's make a dynamite. There we go. We'll take that with us. We have a drill head. Excellent. Let's grab that and stick that on there. Very good. The only thing we don't have on here is ability to make power at the moment. Um, let's just take a battery with us. That will fit on there next to me. Excellent. We need a way out as well. <laughs> let's flatten this down a bit. So on this planet, as you may have noticed, there are a lot of these sort of things venting gas all over the place. Well, not gas. It's just like air. It's just like a visual thing. Okay, let's disconnect that. There we go. Excellent. So if we go this way, we have our drill. So let's go and find one. There's one probably just over here. There we go. This one right here. See these things? So, if we just jump out next to it here. I can't dig this thing. I can dig around it. I don't know how far down it goes. But we're going to end up with like this floating thing. So let's see if I can dig it with the drill. Let's jump in there. So let's use the drill on this one. I can't. I can dig around. Wow, that is so... Oh, whoa! Wow, they actually become loose. 
I had no idea. And this drill digging is so quick. Can I disconnect this one without... Well, anyway, they, they become loose, which I never knew. So the test I want to do... Come on, car. Oh, man. No! We've just made you. Please don't freak out. Okay, let's... <laughs> I've got to lose you already. Let's get in. We can drive out of that, can't we? Yes, there we go. Let's drive over here a safe distance. Good gravy. Let's grab a TNT, a dynamite. I call it TNT. It's dynamite. Same difference. Let's pop it right inside. Yep. <laughs> Let's stand back. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, we can. Aha. Truck's still there. Yep, yep. So we can destroy these with TNT. Excellent. That's worth knowing. I had no idea these things became separated from the from the ground. But this one isn't. It's still floating. No power. Hmm, okay, but digging out with this truck. Oh man, that is going to be so much quicker. Let's come over here. So like these big rocks over here. So we can just blow those up as well, I'm assuming. Because we can't use... Stop. About... Run around. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> it's like floating. The only, the only problem we're using this is we're going to end up sort of sliding into the hole that we're digging if we're not careful. And we're going to need... Is this actually using power? It's not actually using power, is it? Look. The power on the battery is not going down. No way. So this is like free unlimited power for digging. Oh, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> Let's turn it this way so I can get out. That is really good. I had no idea. Whoa, let's be careful. I had no idea that it would work like that. Cool. Okay, well, let's, let's bring it back in here. Let's plug it back in. There we go. Well, that is going to be really helpful. There we go. So we can go out and we can collect resources with that. And not use any power and just keep our power for driving around. I'm wondering whether... Hmm. I don't think we can put... Let's make another storage. We're going to need another storage anyway. I don't think that battery is going to go on the side of one of these storages. So, we, unfortunately, we could make another one, couldn't we? I think that's what we might have to do. Yeah, that won't go on the side of that. Yeah, we're going to need to take another one with us. So, yeah. Okay, excellent. Plans. Plans. Going well. Going well. Okay, so just done a little test. The same applies to these rocks here. You can sort of dig them out and they fall over like this one. You can see this one's moving around. And, but other than that, with either crane, oh, with either crane, with either the drill or the thing that I have in my hands, you can't, um, you can't destroy them. But, if you place TNT on them, I bet that's going to do something. So let's see if we can have a little fun here with some TNT. Uh, we may have to set some of these off by hand. Oh, just for the fun, let's just overdo it. I don't think we're going to need more than one on these things, but let's see if we can get a chain reaction of sorts going. Come on. Oh, here we go. Let's move over here. Let's put another one on there. There we go. That may be close enough to be a decent chain reaction. Oh, my goodness me. I don't want to die. Okay, let's see what happens. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> it was! <laughs> and they're gone. Oh, my goodness me. And there's no research under these ones. I've been trying that. So, we seriously need to go on an aluminium hunt that is that is what i need to look out for i really do need another truck that i can pull behind this with some big storage on so i think i'm going to just work on one of those let's go for a little trip on the moon oh my goodness the gravity is nuts it's completely oh there's some copper handy it's completely lacking <laughs> well obviously people say obviously it's the moon what do you expect Oh my goodness, it's ridiculous. And if you start going too far, you can fly through the air <laughs> with the greatest of ease. Oh no! Don't freak out! 
There we go, it's going down. Oh, good grief. I'm on a hunt for aluminium at the moment. This is going to be fun. What a landing! No, I didn't want to get out in the hole! Oh, I'm still in. I'm still in. No, I'm going. There we go. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, I died. No, where am I going to end up? Oh, thank goodness for that. I end up back here. <laughs> no. Oh, well, I'm going to die now, aren't I? Look at this. Can I get in the seat? No. <laughs> I was just trying to slide all the way down. That really didn't work, did it? Oh, man. As soon as I walk off the edge, I'm like... Oh, no! I'm going to die again. <laughs> Here we go. Second truck in progress. Fantastic. And I want to stick a load of storage on the back of this. Which I believe is going to take compound. Um, which we don't have a huge amount of. I may have to go a bit more mining for that. Let's see. So one seat, three seat, crane. Storage is four compound a time. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and collect a load of that. So I think we're doing well. We've discovered now that we can mine freely with the drill and it doesn't cost power, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to add another one of these onto the back of here. It's just so we can go around and grab. We want to get... Well, I want to get as much aluminium as possible so then we can have a lot of fun blowing stuff up. That is going to be the plan for the next episode. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, hit the big B with the tea stain to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to leave a like as well. And tune in tomorrow for the next explosive astronaut. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.